What's up guys, Naeem here on the Pelican Bass Raider today, guys. That's right, brought the tiny boat out. Perfect boat for this lake right here. This is one of the reasons why I made sure I did not get rid of this boat when I got the John boat. Besides the fact that I just love this boat, period. But yeah, out on the Bass Raider, early, early fall, guys, I've got completely perfect conditions. Hopefully it holds up. I've got cloudy skies all day. It's about 70 degrees right now. I'm gonna hit 75 as a high, low winds. Water temps are right below 68 degrees, so not quite the fall temperatures yet. We're gonna get on it, throw some top water, throw a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna stick with it, guys, and get it in. All right, can't start the day off without some top water. Got the bus bait tied on. This is actually the Strike King Toad Buzz. Um, it comes pre-rigged, but I really like this. This has a chartreuse belly, green pumpkin top. It's actually the first time I've trailered a buzz bait with a toad, but I've been wanting to throw this for a while. And also, I've never caught on a buzz bait before. Got it tied on to 15 pound braid, straight braid. I kind of missed the simple setup of the Bass Raider. Forget how cool it is to fish out of this boat. I've been fishing primarily out the drown boat. The last Bass Raider video I recently posted was actually from the summer. So this is actually my first fall outing on the bass raider went bank fishing yesterday for the first time in a very long time that felt awesome i mean to get out and just grab a few rods pack the rod runner catch a couple of fish one almost a two pounder out of a really small lake i had a couple hours to spare and just had an all-out good time link at the top of the screen of that video guys check that out a lot of fun so made a quick bait change up not really feeling the buzz because this slick calm water I'm gonna go with a popper, something a little more subtle. Switched over to a KVD 1.5. You guys know the deal, orange belly craw. Changing over to a jig, putting on the vial bug. That's what it looks like right there. Nice little bait. Just made a bait change over to Kitex Swim Impact Fat. It'd be really good to get on some fish today at this lake. It's been really dead for me at this lake this year. Oh, is this a fish? Oh, yes, got one, guys. Oh, man, he snagged it, and I didn't even know it. Let me cut the engine. Actually, let me back up. Keep pressure on him. Nice fish, nice fish. Right next to the bank, hugged up in the shade. Nice, 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 nice. Let's get him in the boat. All right, guys, first fish of the day. It's been two and a half hours. Got this guy on the Kitek. Man, nose hooked and all. He is not coming off. Look at that. Beautiful. So excited to get this guy. The skunk is officially off the boat. Skinny guy. His colors are a little bit like gray, grayish faded color. There we go, guys. Fish number one. There we go. Nothing in size, but the skunk is officially off the boat. Let's find some more. Again, throwing the Kitek. Oh just ripped my bait a little bit. They're not very durable baits, but definitely one of the most realistic high profile baits out there. So what you lack in durability, you get in performance. Again, I buried the hook a bit, just skin hooked it right in the bait. It keeps the bait from sliding down and also keeps you very weedless. I'd probably say most of my Kitek catches are right when it hits the water, right on the fall versus getting snatched up while I'm swimming it. I'm just gonna follow up that last catch before i leave this spot with a paddle tail worm just got it t-rigged with a quarter ounce weight on it on a four out ewg all right going back to the crankbait got the green green gizzard chat color on quickly becoming one of my favorites i think this might be the first time i'm throwing it in the 1.5 size i typically throw this on the 5xd and i've caught quite a bit of fish on that bait. I went back to the crankbait. I'm approaching 12 noon, but I want to finish up this side of the lake, get in a couple coves, pitch around a bit, and continue to make my way down to the dam. Oh, got one, guys. Got one on the green gizzard shad. Yeah, he looks good. Ah, come on, guy. Come to me, come to me, come to me. Come to me. All right, here we go. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, look at this guy. He looks super cool. He's got black in his fins here. A few birthmarks. This guy looks really nice. Yeah, 
like him. Excellent, on the crankbait. I casted it right along that lay down that's parallel to the bank. It's perpendicular to me, so I slowed it down because I didn't want to get move away from the lay down too quickly. I hardly ever catch on this side of the bank. Again, I wanted to get through it. Didn't want to skip it on my way down to the dam. And I'm glad I didn't skip it because landed this guy. Look at that. There we go. Bass number two. All right. Feeding up well. And I like his fins. He's got black here, some black in there, a little black on this fin too. A little bit of black, a stripe on the bottom of his uh, tail. And a little some on this side too. All right, buddy. I will see you later. That one was probably a pound and a quarter. A little bit bigger than the first, as far as I can tell. So it's been about an hour, hour and a half between catches. So definitely a tough day. Um, but these conditions look absolutely excellent. But if we could just catch fish based on conditions, man, we would be a lot easier. All right, we're on the final stretch. It's been a grind, very tough day. Only got those two fish, one on the Kai Tech and one on the 1.5, the KVD Strike King crankbait. Been throwing a lot of different baits, trying to figure out what these fish want from the jig, a te Texas rig creature bait, crankbait, jerk bait. I even threw a spoon and that's the first time I ever threw a spoon. Nonetheless, we're on the final stretch. I've got the riprap right behind you guys. Got a couple lay downs and one small cove over to my right. I wanna attack all three areas before I call it for the day. Just try to get at least one more. Two would be nice, but one would be good. All right, we're gonna to try to go out with a bang. I've got my favorite jig and trailer combination tied on. This is a Strike King swim jig. This is actually the 3 8 ounce going a little bit heavier. The bluegill pattern with a Houdini Kitech dipped in chartreuse. Probably put in one more hour. If nothing happens, I'll call it a day, but it's been a good day. It's been a fun day out. Always good to get on some bass. Definitely did better out here today than I have my last few trips to this lake just by pulling in those two bass. And the second one was nice and chunky. Look what I caught. This is the biggest catch of the day, guys, right here. And you've seen it first on Brass Brothers Fishing DMV. This is a 50 inch catch PB. What a struggle today. Still had a good time out here. At least it went a lot better than previous trips out here, but always good to get out, guys. Again, I was fishing in perfect conditions, but it was still a struggle here in the DMV. Fishing in Maryland's been tough all summer and the fall pattern has not picked up yet but it will guys and I'll be ready. Caught those two fish. One of them was uh, I think almost a pound and a half. I don't even remember at this point. Chunky guy. One on the Kai Tech and one on the crankbait. I threw a ton of baits. Didn't quite work out but that's how it goes. Sometimes fishing is fishing. It's not catching. It's called fishing. Also want to give a big shout out to Richard, one of our subscribers and big supporters of the channel and just an all around cool dude. Good guy to know right here in the DMV. Shout out to Richard and his family out here on the lake doing their thing. As always guys, stay safe out there. Hit that subscribe button button. Give us a thumbs up right down below. We'll see you on the next video.